Hey guys, Power 65 here, back with some more. I'm gonna call it just Tech It Space, just cause it's just cause it makes sense. And um, in between videos, I figured I would do a lot towards my place, as you can see in the map on the top right. I've built my house, I've expanded my farms, got some cows. Um, got some ore. I didn't get a whole lot of ore, but I did get some. I finally found a decent cave. And such, yeah. Gone to the nether, got some ore there, um, got some quartz. Had some trouble. Kept dying from stupid pigmen because the gas kept shooting them. So I don't know why they're mad at me, but they just kept attacking me. But I got all my stuff. I don't really have any good tools because for the ore I've been for making um things necessary for getting like more use out of your ore I've been holding it off at least until like now so I can make it and then I can like show what I do and stuff instead of just doing that all oh, I figured I'd just do a little like the tedious work off and do a little bit more interesting stuff while recording so aw oh, dang all the trees are blocking away Here's my house. It's a decent sized house. Um, these trees right here, they're actually rubber wood. Like, not the ones you find in, um, like, industrial craft and stuff, where it's like a dark wood that has, like, different spots that give you rubber. The only way to get rubber is you chop it down, and you get one rubber per log, pretty much. And that's the only way you can get, whoa. That's the only way you can get the rubber. I should really turn on my settings because I put it on fire just so you actually see something, but now it's just getting really laggy. So that, like, and you can tell that they're leaves because if you look at those oak leaves compared to these leaves, these are more like smaller looking, more green, while those are more like kind of like more dull green. And it. I thought they like rotted trees at first because of the wood because I was like I wonder what you see what I have and all this rubber started pouring out I'm like oh that makes sense not really um they work kind of like no more um the other rubber wood where they still give you three jungle planks but so that's like the only thing I'm going to be using them f well using that wood for I hardly ever use jungle wood planks so with my farms, right here, this is MD, it's gonna be my chicken farm. But as of right now, I got my cow farm, got my wheat growing, got potatoes, and I've got chicken cake. So I've got a decent setup. Oh, and also that rift that I created, um, I used that, that gold looking one, you know, with the green center, to um, take out, except for that, I couldn't not get that or that. But it started spreading to over here. It made kind of a big hole. So I figured I should probably figure out a way to stop it before it actually does consume. Because there's it was massive here. It was massive over here. Like it started spreading everywhere. And it was getting out of hand. So I figured I should definitely take care of it before like, it actually does get out of control. Because the thing broke before I could take these out, so I'm hoping these don't spread. They haven't. So I think they're okay. I just need to find another thing. It has, like, I think five uses and then gets destroyed. But whatever, so. Here's my house. This right here is probably where all the induction furnaces and normal furnaces are going to go. It's going to be, like, the kitchen part of my house. Right here is where all the actual machinery and stuff goes, which is why I made this room probably the biggest. And that leads into my basement, which is not yet there yet. Here's my storage room. I don't have any of upgrade chests yet because I've not done anything with my ore. Um, up here, I this little lookout thing because I felt like putting it in. Um, I got this. Well, this is my bedroom. It's not complete yet. But does in my bed, which is probably the most important thing in it. This is just, I don't know what this room would be. I was thinking, like, I guess I would put this in here. And chain my tools if I 
Because I want to get power armor, but in order to get power armor, or the tinker table to make power armor, um, you need emerald. Like, the, the electron man got isn't going to be that hard to make, so I need to pulverize silver and gold. And this is pretty easy, too. Machine frame and all that stuff, but I need to find an emerald. And I'm pretty sure, it's like, they spawn in mountain biomes, and I think they spawn in extreme biomes, too. And if that's true, I need to, um, need to figure that out. If that's true, then I'm fortunate because there's a giant extreme, um, plains or mountain or whatever biome, like, down there is, like, you can tell because, um, on the map it's, like, kind of more, like, a dull green than this one is. Okay. And this room... What the hell? Oh my god, a bird just hit the window. That kind of scared me. Um, this room... I don't know what this room's for. I don't know. So, for since I would wait until now to make the machines, we'll get started. First machine. Pulverize it. It's the first machine that I want to make. Piston, copper, coil, and gold and iron got so I don't even think I have any glass right now. No, I don't think so. Just take some of you and and I don't I don't know a whole lot of build craft about build craft because I usually use industrial craft or you would call it but I know that um, pulverizers are more efficient than masters since that you get a smaller chance of getting something else with them like a small chance of getting like maybe another um like like maybe if I pulverize this I might get a chance of getting this I don't remember exactly what they were I know if I pulverize Furious metal, I could get shiny, that's what I used it for. Because that's the only way you can actually get more of this. Because it's actually rare. I only found three. So I need. I want to try to save up as much as I can. I want to make two. I did two. I'm going to need. Oh, I got four. So I'm going to need four. I already got the copper. Oh yeah, I need pistons, which means I need two more of these. I need two of these. Get that, I need another gold. Oh, I already got gold. Never mind. Why not? Oh crap, I don't want the glass. That's not the glass. So, here's my glass. No. No. I'm off to a terrible start. I pressed the wrong button twice. Middle. Get out of here. Sides. Machine frame. Yeah. What was it? So this is what I'm pretty much going to be doing. Um, Like building stuff off camera and showing you to it. So... Um, I'll get back to you once I get both of these built. Oh, I didn't realize I need flint. Hey, yeah, once I get more flint, I'll be back. I'll get back with you with the machines they'll probably put down somewhere over there. So, yep. Okay, I've got my machines built, but I was building. I realized I never actually showed you what was in all my chests. <clears throat> so, to begin with this. This chest is filled with food, like agricultural items, and wood. You know, I've got a lot of rubber wood. I've actually collected a lot of rubber. Because I, while I was out exploring, like, trying to find maybe more doors or more dimensions, I found a lot of rubber trees. So I got all this... I don't know. Alright, that's in there, but... All this rubber. This is just going to be more for, like, putting my machines, and, like, rubber and that kind of stuff in. Which these kind of, like, just smelt into, like, these, like, rubber, flat rubber things. And then, I don't know, you can change them into something... That you can create but this is like kind of like my miscellaneous chest where I don't know where to put these things yet like wool wall clay shard of medium saddles glass it's my tools these um I found these in a temple because I actually found a desert temple which is where I got the TNT from too and some of this stuff and I found some of these in here and there's this is some type of gun 
There's this. This is a fiery net launcher. But you need this, which comes from yeah. This it comes from the raw rubber. Power furnace. I'm gonna want that. Here's a reusable one, but that's and caster. I don't know. I don't know. Is that I don't know if they're supposed to like capture something. Like maybe you. I don't know. I think maybe you just go up to a planet and like find some kind of creature and just capture it and bring it home with you. But I don't know exactly what they use for. I take it. Oh yeah, this is one you find in the world. This is one you actually make. It is a mystery. I don't know why it's a mystery. So I don't know what they do exactly. But I found all of these. Um, a zombie dropped this. The first zombie I killed actually dropped it. I think. I still have my other rift blade. Um, I should probably stop using them, but I have another so I don't really care. So this is my common chest. I still got my fabric of reality. And I think if I place it and I break it, I'll not get it back, so I'm not gonna place any of it. It's like probably like the darkest things ever. And this series saw probably was where all my um things go. All my ore. So here are the machines. They get powered right here from engines. Put something in there. This is your where your main product comes out of what you get. And this is the um chance, like the small chance of you getting whatever else could go in here. And you can like adjust settings, you can like see how much energy is being used to store this information. Tutorials. This lets you um, pump things in and out and stuff so you can automate it, but I don't think we're going to do that yet. I don't quite have enough resources to do that. And I have, so I have two. I need to power them technically with engines. Um, I think we're just going to use typical engines because this won't now a whole lot. Engine, just type in engine, whatever. Because you got your um, standard combustion, not going to use because we don't have any fuel. We have a sterling for coal, we have a redstone just for redstone. I kind of want to use sterling, but I don't want to use a whole lot of coal because I like to save up my coal. Um, this is a this steam engine. Uh, I don't know if you need like lava and water in it. I have not used one before. This is one that's expensive because you need invar, which means you need pulverized various metal. I don't think I even have enough to make one. So this will probably be the I could try making this one and see what it does. I I think it's more powerful than this and this. But I don't know I don't know if it runs on coal to make the steam or what. But I'm pretty sure it's more powerful than these two, but not this. So I know there's um ways to um hook them up to like some kind of conductive pipes, but as of right now I'm thinking about just hooking them up directly or something. Because I don't really have any other things like I wanna get a f induction furnace or something or a power furnace. Let's see induction first. Or grinder, or is there no induction? Oh yeah, induction smelter. Oh wait, no, never mind. I just want power furnace. I know it's with the induction smelter you have a chance of getting on things too. But I like the pulverizing better, because also I have the pulverized um, ore if I actually need it anyways. It's for the blend do. So powered furnace, I need bricks, that stuff. I'll make I'll make this later once I actually get my machine turning. So, so I'll get to work on that. Hopefully, get a decent amount of power going here. Um, I'm gonna start out uh, with some iron, some copper, just because it's a lot of them. I don't think they run really that fast. I think they they're kind of slow. I don't, I don't know if they, I don't think there's a way you can speed them up. I wish there was, but I don't think there is. So you can control the redstone, disable it. I have a low signal, I have a high signal. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. So I'll get back to you once I get this stuff set up. Okay, guys, I'm back from making the engines. There's a guy here. Ow, get out of here. God. Okay, so he just goes to bang on that one. Whatever. I broke my torch. It's not cool. Um, so, I actually did more than just hook up 
um, the engines. Um, I'll show you that later. I actually went caving again, and it is true that emeralds do spawn in extreme biomes, so I, I thought they did. So I actually have two, so I can actually make a tinker table, and if I got the stuff, I can make my um start making my power suit armor. Oh, well, I I found this um there's a there's a desert over here that I found a temple in, and there's a dead over here that also had a temple. So I so I got even more stuff. I got more um safari nets that I don't know what they do still. And I I found diamonds in it. Um, I found glitched stone that you can't actually pick up or place or do anything with. So that's just gone. Um, I found a shiny ingot. I don't know what they use for. I know they're um um you can get shiny dust from various ore. And I figured out that iron ore you have a small chance of getting um what is it um pulverized various dust and copper you have a small chance of getting pulverized gold dust. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna pulverize some lead. It's gonna keep some pulverized metal so you can mix them. And what I did, um, these well, this is MDA. Let this run dry. This doesn't even have anything. I'll just pulverize some coal with the rest of that. But I noticed with, um, I decided to put these two up together to see how efficient they are between each other. This pumps out more energy than that. This actually pumps out extra this one actually barely keeps up with the machine so already this is better than that and also this with the coal it's much more efficient with coal it takes longer for it to burn through the coal than this does so but the and this the only problem is that this uses up a lot of water but I don't know exactly a lot because it only holds like four buckets of water but it, it so it runs out of water a lot so I'll have to do like a lot of maintenance on it, constantly filling it, unless, cause I, unless I hook up a pump to that over there, I could put like a storage unit of water up here, and I could have like three engines, like, maybe over here attached to gold conductive pipes that connect to these, instead of having to directly connect it. So, cause I was thinking I'm making more of these, cause I got the copper. Oh, so this makes pulverized silver when it's going. Okay. So and I I don't want to run this either because then it would just be a waste of coal because I think it actually still has a little bit left of the other coal even though it doesn't really show it so that's what I plan on doing later on because I I also need to make a power furnace but I want at least three because this kind of keeps up with this like it gets extra so after it's done like if this runs out of power or something this could still run because this actually does not slowly lose energy which is very good so. I want to get, instead of conductive pipes, I want to get much more, um, more efficient pipes, but they're much more expensive, these, which means I need electric transpose, I need to destabilize some redstone by pumping it into here. I need electrum ingots, which is just the electrum blend, which isn't bad. I could actually make that right now, because I have silver now, and I have gold dust, but I need electrum ingots for other things, too. So I plan on mixing that together already. But I also need hardened glass, which takes lead and two pulverized city, or just pulverized red lead. An induction smelter. So I'm gonna need an induction smelter anyways, and I want to get that because it's it's actually a lot better. Like it really is. It's probably the best you can get for transferring um buildcraft energy. But I I have a little bit to get to that still, so that'll ha have to wait. As of right now, I just need to get stuff up here and get that running. Oh, what else was there? Oh, yeah. Also, oops. When I was out exploring, I happened to have some bones on me, and I found a dog. He's not in here. Where did he go? He wasn't. Wait, where? Where did he go? He was he's supposed to be in my room. And I can hear him bark. What are you doing here? What the heck? Is he trying to get out, get out the roof? Trying to commit suicide or something? Push you back into the room. Jesus Christ. As you slowly go oh, oh, as you slowly get darker. Oh, now you're getting lighter. I know it's like, um, oops, stairs, like, 
when they go upstairs they like glitch and they get really dark for some reason he's really dark now too I don't know whatever that's my dog I don't know what his name is I frankly don't care so I got a few things to work on a few things to figure out oh yeah I also made a redstone engine to see if it'll work on that stuff and it doesn't so I won't be using those um I still need to try these because I know if you um here, I'm gonna try um, the nether tin in the nether redstone. Okay, that's done. I don't want to turn this on, but I do. Put some water in there. I would turn it on. I want to see what happens if I put this in there. If it'll work. Oh wait, it is working. So see, it takes that. Um, I'm gonna need to go grab some more. See, I had to do this like constantly while I was doing it but it is more efficient than the other one so I think I'm gonna be using these mostly I can't use the magmatic ones because I can't for the invar stuff yet invar blend Let's see put you in there see it's already, it would already be like see it's just taking a lot every pump how much whoa how much does that give me 24 Wait. Wow, that's a lot for just ore. Usually you like get two ore to and if you get eight from eight times, you get actually a lot from this thing. Holy crap. Um, what about this? Man, I'm gonna experiment with all of this, man. That's a lot. The only problem is that's annoying to get that because I did die a bunch of times getting this stuff. Um well automatically like pump into four okay that makes sense cuz you would get two ore from these and it just automatically pumps into four oh, do I still get the benefits I don't know do I get like an increase in the benefits I don't know how much water see it's using it's about to run out though the only problem is that if it does not can't transfer any more power it breaks so it can use that a little bit more I'm gonna turn it off so it doesn't break cuz then you have to use a wrench to fix it but see, it gives you an extra amount of energy that can you can you know finish up on if you're not done yet. So it's yeah, these things are pretty useful. I just need to get a more efficient way of powering these engines, and then that'll be good. Got plenty of water. I just need to get because you can make tanks, you can make pumps. I want to make I want to make these because I think I don't know if I can put items into it charge it because I'm gonna need some way to charge my own suit if I get one uh, let's get some gold ore so what was it to make the electron blend I'm pretty sure it was gold and silver that's what it was I got some silver I'm about to get some gold and then I'm gonna need to smelt it and then I, I need to click um obsidian and pulverize it too oh nether rack oh I guess that's what you get from doing it straight from here. Another egg. Another egg. I've got no use for another egg. Pretty much. I could. I think you can. You can do something with it. Oh yeah. Um. If you use. What was it? Oh man. What was it? What was it called? Don't remember what it was called. It was called. There it is. Not a crucible. Oh, was it a smelter? Maybe it was, uh, I think it may have been an induction smelter. Something, I don't know. You put into one of these machines. Oh, it's out of energy. Um, if you put another rack in one of these machines, you get, I don't remember what you get. Do you get sand or is it dirt? Was it cobble? I think you, I think you got cobble, but you had like a chance of getting sulfur with it. And I don't really use it, so. But yeah made a little bit of progress this episode um by next episode I will have all these hooked up and I will explain what's going on I will have um three of these two of these I will get some I'll make the smelters once because the pump is pretty self-explanatory you just pump it you get pipes pump it into a tank use engines to pump it out into here and that's it it's easy enough I'll just get the um I'll just explain 
um, the like smelters and stuff, sawmill. Sawmill is actually pretty useful to gain the most out of your wood because it gives you extra wood, like two extra wood, gives you the full amount of wood you should from rubber wood. I mean, you have a chance of getting um, sawdust too, which you can use for stuff. I don't know yet, but I'll figure that out. So, we'll fill this up. So that would be it for this episode. Um, thanks for watching. Oh my god! If you want to see more of the series, hit the subscribe button and like it. See ya.